What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are about to play our last regular season game of the year against Toledo. Our big rivalry game, the Battle of I-75. And just like last year, the winner of this game is going to represent the MAC West in the MAC Championship game. And before we play, you know, big news. Obviously, Marshall stays undefeated. The only team besides us to be undefeated and we'll see them in the MAC Championship game, so one of us will no longer be undefeated after next week. And then going off of that, huge upset as the number one team in the nation, Florida, falls to Florida State in their big rivalry game. They got destroyed 28-3. to So this could be a great chance for us to move up in the rankings. You know, Toledo's a really good team if we look at the team stats. We have the seventh highest scoring offense in the nation, and Toledo is not far behind, sitting at 19. And then when it comes to defenses, we have the 10th best defense in the nation when it comes to points allowed, and Toledo has the eighth. So we are really well matched up here in this game, so it's, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, everything's on the line. Just like last year, we're trying to make it to the MAC title game. But unlike last year, we're trying to remain undefeated and we're trying to fight our way into a national championship. You know, they nailed it on the glass bowl. I've been to the stadium twice to see Bowling Green play Toledo, and they got it exactly right. All the way down to those cobblestone structures. You know, they also even got right where the orange shirts should be, exactly where visiting Bowling Green students sit. They nailed it exactly right here. So really a credit to EA. They used to be a great company way back in 2002. They were getting a little things like that right. Oh look, we're fourth in yards allowed in the country. I mean, that's a big focus of mine is obviously defense. But, you know, we gotta control every aspect of the game. It's gonna be close, I don't know if he got it. Oh, we're gonna do an option to start the game. You know, I hope this game goes just like last year. You know, we enter and I think it's gonna be competitive, but we end up shellacking them. That would be a great way to, to, to end the year and to take on our rivals. And Moran takes one from Gay. He was definitely not the intended guy there. But he grabs it and he's able to take off and I believe we got the first down there, yep. Got a draw to Stevenson, and he's going to plow forward for like a 15-yard gain. I mean, we're hoping to just embarrass. Well, we didn't really block there. Got swallowed up in the backfield. Hey, we're first in the country on red zone scoring. 
I believe we've only not scored in the red zone once. But they're doing a really good job of stalling us here. Doing pretty well on third downs this year. Definitely looking for O'Donnell over the middle. Oh, I took a chance, threw it a little deeper, but we're going to take the field goal. Start the game off on a, on a good note. And Mitchell so far is perfect on field goals this season. Hasn't missed one. Definitely sending the boys on this play. Got to get a stop here. And we, I don't know, it's close. It's definitely close. They look ready for this one. It will get a couple yards, but I mean, they've been doing a really good job of stopping the run so far. I like this. Lee's giving us a good play to work with here. Spread the field a little bit. And high snap, get sacked. Right, I couldn't even throw it. And he caught it. Wow. What a catch. Had a little pump fake. Makes it over the shoulder and just takes a... Just got to settle down. Got to focus a little bit. You know, we're not getting off to the start we want, but there's no need to get anxious or worried. Take a slide there. You know, we, we do our best work in the jumbo set anyways. And that's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. And that's what we needed right there. Oh, bad throw on my part. Bad decision. I mean, he was kind of open, but the, the throw just wasn't high enough, and they were able to grab it. Oh, real unfortunate. I mean, that's only Barry's third or fourth pick of the season. His ratio was like 18 to 3 entering this game. There we go. Good job by the defense to, to start strong after a tough turnover. Get him, get him. What a sack. Wow, that's a 10-yard sack. We'll run a quick QB draw here to end the quarter. Going to get down as, as, as people are coming up on him. You know, interesting first quarter. Probably one of the lower starts or slower starts to the game we've ever had, honestly, this season. I can't think of any game where we haven't had at least seven in the first quarter, but that's all right. I mean, we got the lead, and that's really all that matters. It's going to be close. I don't know if we got the first. Yep, they gave it to us, so we're going to try to run that stuff right down their freaking throats here. Just really bully them. I want to show them how much better, how much stronger, how much more we want this game. And one of the best ways to do that is just run it up the gut and demoralize them. You know, just three, four, or five yards a clip can really add up and get to a team's head. But just like the running and gunning team we are, we're going to take it right to the air here. 
Just had to get rid of it. And Gay makes a play. Holy crap. Heck of a play. Just loft it up into double coverage. Barry takes a lick just as he gets it off. Just gets it off, sends it, gives him kind of a, not even a 50-50. But he was covered and able to go up and make a great play. And I think we are just going to try to punch it up the gut here. The th throwing has definitely been working, but it's a goal line situation. That's fine. On like the inch line here. Just get the big boys out there and just we'll just get it done right here. Perfect. I mean, he could have drove a minivan through that hole. <laughs> Great way to start the game, guys. Up 10 nothing, Awesome. Really, you know, makes, makes the team morale go up when you get a nice touchdown like that. Still perfect on extra points, too, this year. Great deflection. Allen back there. Just an absolute stone wall. Of right back on the ball. See how quickly we can move down the field. Dang it, we put it on the turf. Oh, that's unfortunate. Steven's been so prone to fumbling too. Felt so confident about that drive too. Just like, oh, like we're we just stopped him again. We're gonna score a fumble, and we got it, Churchy. I think that was Stanley. Yep, Stanley forced the fumble, and Church was able to pounce on it. So here's what we're gonna do: not permanently, but we are gonna throw Ruiz in there, and we're gonna try to do Falcon fast once again. Same thing we just tried, but you know, hopefully better execution here. And Stevenson will go back in the game, but. You know, he's coming off a fumble. He's kind of been doing a lot this year, so I just want to give him a rest. And look at that. Ruiz shakes him off. Huge gain. And we're already almost in the red zone. And 20 with another drop. Oh, man. Our receivers have really been letting us down. Now he's get stuffed. You know, I definitely want to try to get in the middle of the field here in case we got to kick a field goal. Blake's open, catches out on the button hook, and he turns. He's got some speed, and he's going to find the end zone. Great job, gentlemen. Just hung it in the pocket, got good protection. He was able to grab it and just burn downfield. Try to run, but they're not going to have any success. We're going to just continue to blitz. That's, I mean, you know, our run defense isn't good just because our D-line is able to get some separation. But it's good because we blitz and we always have extra men. And as I talk about that, they go right to the air. Play action fooled the mess out of whoever was supposed to cover that guy. And he was wide open. There we go, guys. 
We're a community when we tackle. We're a, we're one. Fumble, and Hyde gets it. Bad time for them to be fumbling. Gives us a ton of momentum, and we're going to take it. And you guys already guessed what we're going to do. We're going to go Falcon fast and just fly down the field here. Started with a little option of our own. Nothing really doing there. But we're going right back on the ball. And Blake, oh my gosh, just squeezed that one in there. Couldn't throw across that many people. Lobs it over to Blake, who's going to make another fantastic catch. I mean, he's having a huge game. We're right here on what looks to be the four-yard line. He's going to dump it over to Blake. And he's going to get a touchdown. They sent a lot of guys blitzing. So Blake was able to just kind of trickle out and get an easy touchdown. Pressure. But they had nobody open. Good defense, Maynard. Fourth element. We're going to have a chance to go down and get a score. We got three timeouts. And we've been slinging it all over them today. Third and two. We're going to spread everyone out. We got to move down the field quick if we want a chance to score. Sully's open, and he's able to grab it. I knew that was going to be close. I knew someone might come over and try to lay a hit on him. Um, you know what? No, I was going to say the same. I like it. He gets hit as he throws, but O'Donnell makes the grab, and we're going to take one more timeout. Not really sure what to call here, but everything's going to be on the ball. We only have one last time out. Got to save it for that field goal. Oh, we're going to get sacked. Yep. Everyone hop on the ball, hop on the ball. We might be able to get one last play off. Oh, and they are able to break it up. So we're going to have to try to attempt a field goal here. You know, at least we're able to come away and get some points, hopefully. You know, this is no chip shot, and it's all the way on the left. It's up, and it's good. And that's a good first half, gentlemen. Great first half. It's always fun to just bully our rivals around. Look at that, 261 yards to their 46, and we had 186 through the ground. We average 150 through the air per game, or 100, yeah, so 186 through the air. We only average 150 in the air per game, so we already have more than that in the first half. All right, good little draw to start the half. Versus whenever we call him in. It's usually Blake that has to come in and play fullback for a play, but, you know, it worked there. No one's really open. Blake trickles open and he dives and makes the catch. 
Wow. And he's also, if my memory is serving me correct, the first player all year for us and one of the very few in my coaching career to go over 100 yards in one game. And Gay's open. He's able to grab one, and we're, we're going right back on the ball. We're going right back on the ball. See if we can open up the field a little bit here. They've been doing a really good job covering the left side, but, or the right side, and Blake's open again. And he trickles right down to the one-yard line. Look at that, 13 for 18, two touchdowns, a pick, 250 yards. I, don't, I, I mean, they're probably going to blitz again here because we're on the inch line. Barry just trickles it over to Blake, and that's an easy touchdown for the boys. Barry taking another lick, but look at that. And Blake, three touchdowns this game. Definitely the most I've ever had a receiver get in one game, for sure. Great defense. Oh, my gosh. Our pass defense is usually never this good. I mean, we're just on them. We're all over them. They can't get away from us this game. Oh my gosh, what a run. We usually don't let up runs that big. Oh, he's wide open, and he caught it for a touchdown. That draw, or the, the play action really got us. No one was within 20 yards of him. Come on, Strausser. We need a good one here. Beauty of a punt. How did he get that all the way to the 15? Of quite a ways to go. But I mean, if they score here, getting 21 in the fourth quarter is really not like impossible. It's not likely, but it's not impossible at all. Especially if they keep picking up first downs like they are now. They're moving, man. They're really not giving up. They're fighting. That's what you do in a rivalry game. You don't ever give up. But hopefully we can get a turnover, get a stop. Really just keep keep crushing their spirits. Great stop defense. I mean, we're, we're blitzing, baby. Like, what? I don't know what they expect there. We also just want it so much more than they do. We want another MAC title. We want the national championship game. Just like that, we're going right back on the ball.
audible here. They look like they're ready for the option, so I'm running a little draw play. It's going to go for big yards. Oh, Stevenson gets caught from behind. Definitely don't like seeing that from our speed guy, but he knows. I mean, it was a big game. You know, you got to take what you can. Pump. Gay, I thought he was going to be open, and he's not. Hops it over to wide receiver 20, and I think that might be his first grab of the game. I don't know. And just buried it off of Blake's hands. Come on, guys. We don't need those. Oh, that was just bad running. Just bad running. The hole was there. I want us to go for it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think what I'm going to do here is sub in Bubba, though. Give Barry a little rest and see if we can get a QB draw going. Check out the defense here. I'm just going to hike it and try to run to the left. And he gets it. Gets great yardage, too. Great yardage. We're just going to run a quick... We're going to run a QB sweep and then sub out uh, Bubba. Haven't ran this play much this year. We'll see if it works. Yeah, he got a few yards there. Oh, geez, but he got hurt. I think he'll be okay. The way the announcers are talking, it didn't seem too bad. When he's open, catches it on the sideline, but he gets thrown out of bounds right before he can get to the end zone. And that's going to end the third quarter. We're starting the fourth, knocking right on their doorstep. And I think we're just going to punch it in here. Maybe we'll try to... Yeah, I think we're going to try to run a play action and see if we can dump it off to one of the tight ends. All right, yeah, Bubba's good. Nothing serious. Going to try to hit Moran right over the middle. And he caught it. Great throw. Good job getting open by Moran. That's touchdown number four for Barry. He's, I mean, he's been having a fantastic year, but he's really having a good game as we look to just beat down on our rivals here and punch our ticket to Detroit for the Mac. Actually, no, it wasn't played in Detroit at this time, so we'll be probably going either to the Doit or to Marshall Stadium. But regardless of where we're going, we punched our ticket there with a statement win here. And yes, I know the game still has basically the whole fourth quarter, but I am really not worried about them putting up, you know, 40 points in the fourth quarter. Here, but, you know, I don't know. They might throw, they might pass. They, I mean, they need to move down the field like lightning quick to have a chance, which they don't. But, you know, I guess they're fine just taking a few clips here. I mean, they're actually running the ball really well. We're just, ever since the first quarter ended, we've been so hot. Good sack, gentlemen. I don't know what he was thinking there. Look at that. They average over 500 yards. Not today. They'll settle for 150 against us. This defense isn't budging for anyone. Oh, and it's picked. And Buck, he's going to go. He's going to go. Oh, and he's unable to take it to the house, but great return. Yeah, I mean, even the announcers, they know this one's over. Doesn't mean our run game's been improving at all. I mean, five yards a clip, he is doing pretty well, but it's that's that's a little misleading just because it's been a lot of really big runs then brought down by these, like, 
you know, one yard losses. Pressure comes. He gets away the hot ball and it lands right in the basket of Blake. Oh my gosh. That is his fourth touchdown catch of the day. Pretty bad showing here in the Battle of I-75. <laughs> Look at him go. He's averaging 7.6 a clip. Great job, gentlemen. Keep pounding them. You know, we're, we're not letting off just because we're up by 41 points with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. But this is, I mean, I don't really, I didn't keep good enough tabs on who was winning the previous battle of I-75 when I was still coaching at Mitchell. Waste a couple extra seconds for the ref to, you know, get the ball down. So if we get the first down here, this will be the last play that we have to run. And if we don't, they probably will just call a timeout just to get the ball back for whatever reason, but they'll only really have time for a play or two. And we are able to get the first down. So we're just gonna hop on the ball. Blake, obviously the player of the game. And we're just gonna let the run, uh, the the clock run out here. Just 15 seconds till we're officially the winners of the MAC West. We remain one of the two undefeated teams in the regular season, and we go to play the other undefeated team, Marshall, in the MAC championship game, where there will only be one remaining undefeated team. And that's another win for the Battle of I-75. I mean, great, great way to send off the seniors, you know, in the regular season. Still have a lot of work left, but, you know, take, take a moment to reflect, you know, on your four years here. All right, you know, obviously the stats are going to be pretty lopsided here. And, yeah, just a great game. Fantastic. Everything was solid. I mean, third downs, we were able to convert enough, able to stop them enough, convert it on our only fourth down, too. You know, we did have two turnovers, and they had three, but it really didn't end up mattering at all in the end. Time possession was pretty even. You know, that, that first quarter was very low scoring. We only had the field goal, and that was it. But then we were able to hang 24 on them in the second. We tied the third, and then we were able to add two more in the fourth. Their quarterback struggled, you know, 5 for 16, just over 100 yards. One touchdown, one pick. I'm sure that's not how he wanted to end his senior year, but they'll probably get a bowl game too, so they'll have another one. And Barry, yeah, great game. The senior, three-year starter. They able to go 18 for 26, 292 yards, five touchdowns, one pick, only sacked twice. Really good game for him. Stevenson over 100 yards again, grabs a touchdown too. Barry just a couple of runs. Bubba had a few. You know, it was mostly Stevenson on the ground, but that's not the way our team needed to play. It was all about the receiving. And we have Blake, who hauled in eight catches, 149 yards, and four touchdowns. So, really good game for him. Moran got a touchdown, too. I think the only senior in this group, yeah, would be wide receiver 20, and he was able to get three catches for 45 yards, so he had a good impact, too. Great job for the line. 
Defense obviously had a great game too. Really solid by everyone. Mitchell grabbed another couple field goals. We only had to punt once. So, really good team win right there. So, we'll soon through the rest of the week here. You know, really no other big games to note. You know, actually, except Notre Dame lost only their second game of the year to USC. So, big win for USC there. And look, we are number one, so that feels great. You know, obviously we play in the MAC, so we didn't face a lot of really good teams in conference, but we had those three ranked teams in our out-of-conference game, and then Toledo was our best MAC opponent, and we absolutely demolished them in the rivalry game. So we'll sim through the Army-Navy game. 27-24. So our Army took it this year. Good for them. So then obviously we have the MAC championship game between the one team and the five team. Us versus Marshall, the only undefeated teams left. The Big 12 has their championship game between Nebraska and Oklahoma. And then the SEC, they have their championship game, and it's going to be Alabama and Florida. So that will be our game next week. Obviously, Marshall's doing really, really well. So it should be a really fun game. And if we win it, there's absolutely no questions we'll be in the national title game. So I'll... Probably do an end of the regular season recap next video, and then the one after that will play the MAC Championship game. So I'll see you all then. Peace.